why that's so important, the time under tension thing. Because you're, you're right, you go into a gym, I, I see it all the time where people are just swinging and launching weight. And how, how many sets do they really have to do in order to <laughs> stimulate whatever muscle they're trying to work, right, in order to do there that? There you go. Yeah, yeah. And I, I've had, you know, male clients who will come in and say, oh, let's put weight on the leg press. I'm like, hold on. Let's do it this way. If you can do it this way, I'll give you your 400 pounds. Let's do it my way. So let's slow it down. So I so what I try to do with them is I educate them about time and attention, what it means, why it's so important to breaking down muscle in a short period of time with less weight and less straining on your joints. They're like, no, I just want to lift seven. So, okay, hold up. What's your goal? I want to build muscle. Okay, let's do it this way. So I put them on the leg press, maybe put like 35 pounds on both sides. They're looking at me like, what are you doing? I'm like, just hold on. Let's do this for a set. They just, you know, take the weight off and then just oh, slow it down. So let's count four seconds on the way down and three seconds on the way up. By the time they get to 12 reps, they're looking at me like, can we drop the weight down? <laughs> I'm like, well, you say you want to unload up the whole leg press machine. I think it's the mentality of lifting heavy builds mass. Don't get me wrong. You need the weight to build the muscle. Don't get me wrong. But when you focus on that all the time and not focus on the other stuff, and then you'll be spending time and days and months and years, and you're not still close to where you want to be. is because you have the wrong mentality. And when you get to the gym, you're all over the place. You got to pick a spot. Pick that spot. Educate yourself about what you're doing because you can. If someone told you this, I'm like, you know what? Go online, go look for the best, or pick up a book on exercise anatomy, for example, or the science of building muscle. It will explain everything to you. But most people always think you walk into the gym, the ego training, I call it. Everybody wants to train their ego. So I tell my clients, leave your ego at the door because when you come in here, I'm going to humble you. <laughs> if you think you're going to come here and throw maybe 30 pounds of ladder lady, I'm going to give you five pounds. And I'm going to blow your shoulders away. So it's about having a plan, having a blueprint, and commit to it. And forget about what everyone is telling Hey, man, that guy is weak. He's only bench pressing 10 pounds. Who cares? If they take your, their shirt off and you take their shirt off, you look better than them. Isn't that what we're trying to achieve in the first place? Right? There's multiple ways to approach it. Everybody has their own, like, you know, five plus four is nine. You know, and six plus three is also nine. We arrived at nine, but we took different routes to get there. And that's the key point for me. It's lowering the key. Because I always feel like if you're straining while you're working out, 